Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys how I got this look literally from start to finish, including the hair and the makeup. So you guys are getting legit a two for one special. Like what? Is that even a thing? <laughs> So I am going to be showing you guys how I lay my wigs and how I got this eye makeup look. I've already done a video on how I lay my wigs, but um, people still ask me like, how do I customize and lay my wigs? So I thought I should just do it all over again. So in this video, I spent a lot of time actually showing you guys how I customize the wig, how I bleach the knots, how I pluck the wig everything like legit everything so I got you guys in this video and I also included a makeup look so why not let's just get into the video because I am super duper excited okay so first I'm going to bleach my knots and these are all the materials that you need so you need 40 volume developer BW2 bleach and I got these from Sally's and you can also use the smaller packages as well you also need razors so I got both big razors and small a very tiny razor and you also need tweezers now this part is completely optional you do not have to have a wig cap but if you're doing the wig cap method you should get a wig cap and you also need a mixing bowl also optional you can just use a regular regular bowl that will be fine as well and you would definitely need a mannequin head so you can actually customize the frontal. So now the important part, the hair. So the hair that I have is from So Good Shop and I am going to link everything that you need to know about this hair down below. Um, this is a full lace wig, guys. Look at all that parting space that you get. So basically you can literally part the hair all the way down the middle and you can pull the hair up, you can leave some baby hairs out, yada yada yada. Um, this is a definitely a full lace customizable wig. I believe this hair is 26, 28 to 28 inches and this is their straight unit. Um, now I'm showing you guys all of the parting space you have. Um, on either side so you can cut all the extra lace off to make it look as natural as possible So now we're getting into your mixing solution We are going to take the BW2 bleach that I got from Sally's and also the 40 volume developer that I got from Sally's as well And we're going to take this makeup old makeup brush to mix it into the bowl now when I mix my bleach in my developer I do not have a set measurement I go for a consistency so the consistency that I like is kind of on the permish thickish side it's not too runny because you don't want the um, the bleach to seep through onto the hair you kind of just want it to sit right on top of the lace just to bleach the knots so again I don't have like a specific measurement I just mix it into the consistency that I want and it's pretty thick um, so later on in the video you're gonna see the consistency that I'm going for so as you guys saw that is the consistency that I'm going for it's kind of like a perm looking type of texture but just a tad bit thicker so that's what I'm gonna do for the remainder of this portion of the video just take some volume developer 40 volume developer and take some bleach and just keep mixing it until I get as much as I need to cover that entire lace So now I'm going to take a t-shirt, you can take a bag or whatever you want to take and I'm just going to cover the hair up because I can get pretty messy when it comes to laying the bleach on the um, lace frontal. So what I'm doing now is taking a extremely light hand. It might look like I'm pressing down on the wig but I am not pressing down on this wig. I am taking a super light hand and barely just putting it on the top of the lace like you do not want to press down on this wig because then it's just gonna go onto the hair and then you'll have like grassy looking roots and then like dark 
hair strands at the bottom and it's just not gonna look right. So just make sure that you have a really, really light hand on this part. So now I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and let that sit. So after the 20 minutes is up, you can now wash all of that bleach off. I don't have like a set way to wash the bleach off. I literally just pour water or run it through some warm water. And I also take my conditioner as well. And I'm using the generic conditioner. You guys know this is my ultimate fave conditioner to use on the hair or on my wigs. Actually, not my natural hair, but my wigs. I love using this on that. And as you guys can see, the knots are bleached and they're a little bit brassy, but you can always correct that with purple shampoo. So now we're going to move on to the customization of the wig. And as you guys can see, the wig is pretty natural looking already, but I just wanted to add a little extra oomph because I, I'm just extra and I just love customizing my wigs. So if you're a beginner, you definitely can just leave it as so, but if you're extra like me, then you can go ahead and customize it. So first thing I'm doing is plucking the wig. And I actually like plucking the wig while the wig is still wet because the hairs come out so much easier. Another note, I'm making sure that I go behind the hairline. So I'm just taking out the hairs behind the baby hairs, if that makes sense. So you guys can see that I'm like parting it. I'm taking those are like baby hair-ish hairs and I'm like making sure that I pluck behind that um, because if you just pluck straight on the front of the hairline, it's not really going to make a difference because the back is still very thick. So you want to make sure that you pluck the back of the hairline and not just the front. And basically, you guys can see the difference and I'm just going to go back and forth plucking the back and then like putting the hair back as well and seeing if it looks good and um also i am going to take the razor so once i'm like way way in the back i begin to take the razor and kind of shave it off but very very lightly especially when you're working with the new razor and you want to make sure all of these products are new all the tools that you're um, working with are new because then you'll get a cleaner customization when you do so but when you're doing this part, you want to really make sure that you have a light hand because it's legit a razor and you're basically shaving the hair off and you don't want a bald spot. So that's what I'm going to be doing basically around the entire hairline. Alright, so this is the wig all the way down, blow dried. And I glued it down with my Got To Be Free spray. You can like just totally ignore that area. <laughs> but this is pretty much the wig glued down. And so now we are going to move on to the makeup. For So now I'm just concealing my brows with some NYX concealer as well. And just drag the rest of that concealer down. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. These two shades right here. 
and mix those into my crease. below the red and put that in my crease and put it all on my lid. Now I'm just going to take my other blending brush that I started off with and just blend it in between there. First I'm going to prime my face with the Wet n Wild Matte Primer along with the Too Faced, this is not Too Faced, along with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm going to be mixing my foundations today and I'm going to be using the Infallible Super Staple Coverage in the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth. I'm going to just use the same concealer I used to prime my lids. Also cream contour and I'm using the black opal stick in Karab. I'm going to use this Wild and Radiant palette on. It can get super intense really quick. So that's why I'm using this like feathery type of brush, if you will. So this is the makeup complete. Now we can move on to the hair. Wait for right now. So we're gonna split it in half, and we're just gonna do some um, long curls in there. It doesn't have to be like too uniform. Thank you. 
So don't forget to check the hair out once again all of the information will be in the description box down below I am just throwing in some really really loose type of curls um, just kind of sloppy like they're not really uniformed and they're not really like super curly it's more like a wave so yeah as you guys can see this hair does curl really really good it's super duper soft and i just really love it it's so natural looking and i've got so many compliments on his hair so definitely again check this hair out because it is a good good grade of hair and i'll leave it all in the description box below so if you actually made it to the end of this super duper long video Thank you guys for watching everything. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.